So I'm going to give you guys an IVF update while I'm walking my dog. Pretty little walk. So about 12 days ago, which was a Saturday, July 27th, I did my embryo transfer. And yesterday I went to get a blood test to see if I had any high or any HGC levels. And I do not. So I am not pregnant. This is kind of obviously a bummer as a lot of women go through this. But in my situation, I only had one embryo. There is a very small chance I have an opportunity to try something else. And for people who don't know my whole story, I'm just going to give a quick Coles Note version. Hi, my name is Allison. I am a cancer survivor and I'm on an IVF journey. So in 2020, I was diagnosed with stage 2 cervical cancer. Really, really close to pushing into stage 3. So before I had radiation and chemotherapy, my oncologist recommended for me to freeze my eggs and to move my ovaries into my stomach, which is called transpositioning. At the time, I was 35 years old, and I've had no children at that point. If I, did want to, if I didn't want to have children or did have children and I was good, we would have gone a completely different road. Anyways, I didn't have a chance to do multiple attempts at getting eggs out. Just one, because we were working against the clock. I was only able to get four eggs out. So we froze four of my eggs, and there was a high chance I was unable to carry a child because of the radiation on my cervix obviously damaged my cervix and damaged my uterine lining a little bit. But my ovaries were saved because my oncologist moved them up into my stomach, like I said. I wouldn't go into early menopause and I would possibly still have a chance at harvesting more eggs. But what was supposed to happen is I was supposed to probably go through surrogacy, which in Canada is hella hard. Years waiting list, unless you have a really good friend or a sister or a cousin who will help you out. So 2020, 2021, 2022, COVID, I was getting married, lots of stuff happening. 2023, I started asking the fertility clinic, okay, what road should we go down? I had an amazing doctor who said, you know what? Let's try to see if you can carry. Your uterine lining is looking a little bit better. It's healing a little bit. So I was put on hormones, estrogel, progesterone. And in December of last year, we did a mock transfer to see if my body was able to do it. And I was successful. Then I had to go on a waiting list. Because of my situation, I was able to get funding, which I'm very thankful for in a weird way. The situation what brought me to here sucked. But anyways, it's like $15,000 in Canada for each IVF round. So three weeks ago, sorry, two weeks ago, my eggs were dethawed. We made embryos. Out of the four eggs, only one matured. So I can only make one embryo. And that's the one we used. And like I said, it didn't stick. But because I have my ovaries in my stomach, there's a possibility I might be able to do a transabdominal egg retrieval. But again, I'm 39. I'm 40 next year. And also have to see what my doctor says, because of course I've been doing like online research. So that's my update. There's a Coles Note version of my story. I'm debating about doing a longer version on my YouTube channel. And about a breath because I just walked up a hill with my dog. <laughs> So to anyone struggling with fertility, IVF moms, anything like that, anyone like that, let's support each other and it's, it is a mental mindfuck. Stay strong everyone, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.